Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I begin in the name of Allah, the All Beneficent, the All Merciful. The great Muslim scientist Imam Ja'far Sadiq, peace be upon him. Theory of the Origin of the Universe Some people might say that it was only by guesswork that Ja'far Sadiq, peace be upon him, said that the earth rotates on its own axis. But the question arises as to why no one else had guessed that for such a long time. This proves that he knew the laws of astrophysics which enabled him to make that discovery. If he had not known those laws, it would have been impossible for him to discover the rotation of the earth on its axis. This discovery could not have been accidental. One must know the cause to know the effect. Ja'far as Sadiq, peace be upon him, did not say what led him to come to that conclusion. But what he has said in respect to many other problems of physics are exactly according to modern theories of science. His other wonderful theory is about the origin of the universe. When scientists read this theory, they confirm that it totally agrees with the modern theory which has not yet become a law of physics. It may be right, it may be wrong. The theory of Ja'far Sadiq, peace be upon him, is also in the same category. It cannot be called a law of physics. However, it has the unique distinction that it was enunciated 12 centuries ago, but it agrees with a modern theory. It reads as follows, and I quote, The universe was born out of a tiny particle which had two opposite poles. That particle produced an atom. In this way, matter came into being. Then the matter diversified. The diversification was caused by the density or rarity of the atoms. Unquote. In the above theory, two opposite poles are two negative and positive charges of an atom. The two charges were the cause of the creation of the atom. The atom produced matter. Varieties in matter are due to the presence of more or less atoms. When Ja'far Sadiq, peace be upon him, was asked as to when the universe came into being, he replied, No, I cannot tell you the date of the birth of the universe. He replied, Shias believe that Ja'far Sadiq, peace be upon him, who was an Imam, had unlimited knowledge and knew the date of the birth of the universe, but he did not want to tell anyone. He remained silent not only in that case, but in many other cases as well, whenever he thought that it was not in our interest to know some of the secrets of Allah, he remained silent. <laughs>